Welcome back to Danganronpa. Uh, what's going on? Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Oh, ooh. Mmm, Hina. I know I shouldn't cry, but... Ooh. I've had enough. Hina is my I can't take character. it anymore. Oh, my gosh. Getting out of here <clears throat> anytime soon? Mm hmm It's impossible. I can't let oh. myself think about... How much I want to get out of here. Oh. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. No, don't do it. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Uh, she's a simple girl. Donuts are great. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasada. Okay. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful on encounter yeah her room actually has some stuff in it unlike mine I'm sorry please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule but right now for me don'ts are absolutely necessary but the dining hall is closed gurn, gurn. huh gurn, gurn, gurn. huh what's that sound gurn, gurn. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Um, what's going on? Gurn, gurn, gurn. What? I was super scared, but... Is... Is someone there? Gasp. <laughs> um... A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. Daily life. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Hmm. Everyone met up in the dining hall just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's why I expected, but. Uh. Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refuse to show up. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Good oh. supper. That is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It sounds like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Uh, <laughs> Possible or not? <laughs> Taka hasn't said a word since ever since everything that happened yesterday. And can you blame him? One look on his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. Yishka, it must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Yeah, it must have been pretty hard to like watch your bro die like that. So I mean, what's going to happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever going to come. Uh, now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. Oh, hip boomy. We simply have to make the best of things. Do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well, here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, or our every need is seen to you. Why are you so dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Hmm? Okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence as society grows. So does its provisions. In which case, it in our, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon Angel, pretty punji princess. Huh? What? Here we go. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, robo justice, the galactic keen. And, and... Aww. What I mean is there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind puts such base desires in their advantage, binding you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since Taka's like, 
catatonic. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. Okay. So, we're all going to work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, well, I mean, right? since the class trial is over and all... Perhaps. There should be a new place for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. I'm terrible at some voices. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm, there may well be a discovery waiting for us which may further enrich our life here. Uh, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. Oh? You called for me, and so I appear. Genocide, Jill. They finally have the right name for her. Ah, nobody called for you. Uh, um, what the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes. God, this place is just amazing. Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Plus, I have another battle to fight. Uh huh. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would have gone up at least 10%. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. I like Sakura. She's smart. She is smart. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigations. Yeah. <laughs> So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murder, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Yay. All right, I got control now. All right, let's go. Let's leave the area. Let's find the next floor, floor three, the third floor of the school. Boom. Was I unlocked the previous time? It might have been, but if not, I'm just going to go in. Ah, yeah, it wasn't. So I guess we can now get in here, too. That's nice. So we might as well go in it. And no one is in here. Okay. That's nice. That's nice to know. I thought someone would have been in there. Oh well. On to the next floor. Hey, hero. Could it be? Nothing changed on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they went. They want us to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. I wonder too. And okay, the steps were not behind me. Over there. Yeah, over here. Yeah, there they are. I know for sure they weren't all the way down the hall. Third floor of Hope Speak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. Maybe, probably nothing useful. What's up here? Okay, the steps are behind. Whoa, where, where the heck are the stairs? Oh, they're right here. All right, well, we might as well check what's on this side. But yeah, this is just a classroom. I don't really need, you don't really need to look into the classrooms unless you like, um. Seeing those drawings of Monokuma on the chalkboard. Some of them are pretty cool, like that one, not really. And there might be a. Uh, let's see what's in this one. The Spare Squadron Monokuma! So in the end. Mm hmm. So escape still looks impossible. But I gotta check all the mail plates again just to be sure. Yeah, might as well keep checking just to be sure, Sakura. And nothing else is over here, that's fine. Oh, a rec room. Sweet. Let's go in here. Ah, billiards, darts, 
this is Let's see. a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I would have, um, I never would have imagined school having a place like this. Well, normal schools would. It was all I thought. Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Lovely. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Well, until we're done reading them, I guess. Mean, mean, mean. Hello there. Allow me to expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So and will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I want to, right now magazines are kind of... Kind of what? Watch out! Whoops. Nothing, never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expoundation. Bye-bye. Um, okay. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me, too. Most unfortunate. I feel it would be that much nicer if we could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. But really? I don't think that was what I would have said. What the heck is this? Looks like some kind of ball, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. Alright, so yeah, we have a pool table. <clears throat> we have a dartboard. We have magazines. We have shogi. We have whatever the heck that is behind Celeste there. I have no idea what that was. Kyoko? It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Mmm, that's nice. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. A huge machine in the physics lab? Well, we might as well go check that out. Once we check out this area. What is this thing? Oh, it's the art room. Cool. At first glance, this looks like a normal art room. Something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. If we what you guys say. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches the artist's itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but there's also all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Fumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charabo, Pumpkin King, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Rompongi makes. Tarombi's ability is expands the movement of muscles. It's exquisite as seen in his mama blah, blah, blah. Pumpkin head is like a little sculptor fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Rompongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Museum series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be arranged as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly, right, rightly belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Well, might as well look at the bust. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art roomy-ish. Okay. Well, let's check it in the back room here. Huh? There's something on the floor. This is representatively that attached to the art room. It's used to store artsy thing. Respiratory. Uh, what is this? There's something on the floor. It looks like a pitcher, but as I stretch out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Um, huh? What I saw in that pitcher was Chihiro, Liana, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. 
Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the windows in the the window in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. Uh, which must mean whenever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by. Hello. That's fine. Give it back. My clone appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that they were definitely living their school lives. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you just give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't know why I bothered asking. Yeah, that was the only thing we really needed to look at. So, that's a thing. Is this Sachi Malakuma? Who would ever want to make something like that? Still, the quality is surprising. And that's why. Because I know that I knew there was a coin there. I knew there was a coin! I wanted the coin! Alrighty, let's find that physics lab. Is this where I came from? Yes, it was. Okay, key. Okay, it was all the way down there. Okay, I'm looking around at the speed. Ah, looks like there's another floor. So there's at least one more floor. Okay. All right. Whoa, that's a weird door for a physics lab. Well, maybe not really. I don't know. Okay. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Hey Taka. How how you doing? Hey Taka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Taka? 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 Now let's look at this machine. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! What? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? That's a time machine! Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here in Hope's Peak. Huh? The ultimate physicists, although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously? So I can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I could go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. Pizza bagels? One minute?! Huh? You sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? Well, why? It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, it can even live on Mars. You can even live on Mars. But what with the discombobulated gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably won't... You probably don't want to live on Mars. Well, yeah, I know we're actually making advances towards Mars, so... Anyway, the machine is the reason you guys have all the delicious there, so don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. Okay. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that. Taka? Go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Well, what do you... Oh, uh, hello. That was odd. Well, what did you expect something like Mom Akuma to do? Well, let's check this back room. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, hello, Jill. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Oh, this place is so relaxing, so calming. The smell of formula light is also unbearable. It's so tempting. Oh, I just want to drink myself right in it. Dunk myself right in it. Of course, notice I... Jill, you idiot. How come Hi Hero is the only one that says her real name? Well, okay. I guess that's it. Nothing else to really look at in there. Oh, I thought someone else popped up. Oh. What else can I look at? Look at this stuff? Ah, I found another coin. Uh, look at this thing? Oh, hello. Right here. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. And you just automatically transport us there, so why do you even bother saying that? Oh, hi, Hina. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah! Hina? I tried to talk to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Hina. Huh? Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. Wait, what? You do love those donuts. Mm. But wasn't it your stomach that wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well, my stomach kind of made me hungry, so you know, stomach ache. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Uh, Hina, you're acting kind of strange. Mm. They say the goal that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss Asley, mm. Hina, pretty mm. much the same. Mm. It looks like. Just a hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Yeah, just look at her. Anyway, anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you. Huh? huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? <laughs> wow, this this is like the funniest part of this. Stay away from her, fiend. This is like the, um. any interaction between Genocide Jill and... Hina. It's pretty funny because just like Jill always mentions her boobs. Right. I have no idea what's going on. Am I supposed to talk to Hina? I'm going to talk to Hina. So, um... uh, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Huh? Could it be? Didn't have to be a donut related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office, remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Yeah. I checked it out. Well. I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin su supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. Hmm. How? I see. I see. That's disappointing. It is this point, like the end of the world is already here. I I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Alright. Uh, Kyoko, what do you got? Okay, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to talk to Miss Kyoko Kigiri. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. You mean the air purifier? Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? huh? What's something like that doing there? Uh huh? Mm -hmm. Is the device really that big? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. I really don't get it. 
attacker. Um, Jill, what'd you find? Ooh, yes, yes. The long road of maidenhood begins with a single step. The road may begin with only wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young, adorable boys. Uh. Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I love her laugh. All right, Hero, what you got for me? Hmm. Well, I just remembered, I saw Byakuya a little while ago. What? Where? Where was he? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have gotten from the library. No, 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 so no. That's right, he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Yeah. Huh? Um, okay. Bye. Genocide Jill. <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Yeah, you're right. Um, Celeste. Why are you... Okay. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life th here will be even more enjoyable because of it. Hmm, will someone join me in a game of Otho sometime? Othello? Uh, Hifumi! You'll talk about the art room. Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. Gear, gear, gear. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm, a digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well. On top of that, it appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. No, no. Rude. She's not strange. She's Princess Pickles from Demon Angel Pretty Pungent Princess. Try saying that five times fast. Oh, you recognize this, Afumi? <laughs> of course I recognized it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. Hmm? You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? So, it's your camera? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera. Wait, what? Where did you find it? In the physics lab? <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I bought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Oops, sorry. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared at, in the physics lab? That is quite a However, Ah, well, look at it. It got all messed up. Like, would someone steal the sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt? How is it messed up? Well, that's it. Ah, uh, that's it. It's not in mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. Sure, take it. If anyone would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Okay, cool. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or anything. Um, are you going to mention the picture that we, you found, Makoto? Okay, you're not. Well, I guess I need to just talk to Sakura. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. Figured. Uh, I wish they'd give us the rest of it, but seriously, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Just to be sure, I went from one to another, testing each mail plate. None of them budged. So in the end. Who has seen escape? I'm sneezing. All right. Um. Now what? I. Th oh, Taka. Taka. Ishimura. Oh, I've heard what. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. Now it's my turn. Hey, uh, can I t tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? 
I found this weird picture in the respiratory. Apparently, Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like dirty? No, no, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? The three of them were laughing. Oh. It showed um... the three of them together laughing. When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then, the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well, you probably just imagined it. Mama Kuma cast a spell on you! No, I saw it, I'm telling you! Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive! They left the school and they took that picture! Is that right? That's impossible, after all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Mamakun killed Junko. And then there's... Sayaka! Yeah, we kind of forgot about those two. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. Unfortunately, it's true. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <gasps> Mamakun most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibilities. Forged? Is that all there is to it? Ugh. Stay focused, man. Don't let Mamakun's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Alright, well, we will talk... Oops, sorry. We will talk to Miss Celeste in the next episode of Let's Play Danganronpa. Trigger happy havoc. Danganronpa.